Let's talk about how to actually install textures presets into your live library, how to create a favorites folder so that you can store those in and how you can access them across any live project that you work with. I'm working with the reverse piano patch from our textures piano project included in our textures file. What I want to do is I want to install this patch into my live library so I can use it across all my projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually work from my browser here and I'm going to go into my live device browser and the first thing I want to do is create a folder that I can drag this patch into. I'm going to go into my instruments uh, section and then on my instrument rack here because what we're dealing with all of our texture sounds are instrument racks. I'm going to right click and select create folder. For the sake of this example, I'm going to create a folder and call it Patches. I press enter and now I have a Patches folder. If I press this arrow to the left of it, you see there's nothing included in it. But what I want to do is include this patch, Reverse Piano Patch, in that Patches folder. All I'm going to do is take the uh, instrument rack itself, click on the track, the device title bar, excuse me, and drag that into my Patches folder. I'll let go and we see Reverse Piano show up there. What I could do is I could leave this the way it is, or I could label it in a way that makes sense to me that when I go back to that folder, I know exactly what it is. So for me, I'm going to shorten this. Really, really descriptive. Reverse piano and a cool pad. That lets me know exactly what type of sound it is, what type of sound I'm working with. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new, uh, let's close the browser here. I'm going to create a new live set. I don't need to save that, so I don't have that file loaded in. This is my template set that I have loaded in. And when I go back to my browser here, go into Instruments, go into Instrument Rack, and then I'm going to go into my Patches folder here, Reverse Piano and a Cool Pad, and double click, and automatically now have that loaded into my live set, and I'm good to go.